Hello everybody, Neurotra Awesome here, and welcome back to another video. Now today, I, um, is it daytime? Today, we are going to be taking a look at my one block wide, um, simple trading machine. Now, if we come over here and go inside our drop, we can put our piece of clay inside, then we can push our button, wait a few seconds, oh. Now, if we go over and push our button, it has to be on this dropper, I forgot, and push it, it'll input our thing, and it'll give us our cake right from the slot. Now we have one piece of cake, <laughs> or a piece of clay. Now, the redstone is super easy, and it's only two, it's actually two blocks wide if you include this storage, the collector dropper, but that's pretty much it. So, let's get building. Now, the space thing we're gonna be needing is a three by five down two blocks, and then we're gonna need enough space to go up one, two, three, four, five blocks going up. So it's gonna go three blocks above the surface, and your dropper is gonna go um, right here. So, let's get building. Now, the lovely people from the video game, Who's Your Daddy? I do admit they have poor physics, but they want a brand new iron machine in their house. They want input cake. So, we got ourselves a cardboard box that comes with all the stuff we're going to be needing. We're going to need three droppers, one button, one item frame, optional, three hoppers, one redstone torch, one redstone comparator, seven pieces of redstone dust, two redstone repeaters, eight blocks of choice, 64 or, or any amount of items which is going to be your output item in this case it's going to be iron and your input item so we're going to need 23 of that and then we need three slabs of block of choice three slabs of choice we no longer need that so let's get started by digging out our little area i think this is a good spot okay so it wasn't the best spot we have to get, dig into our um laundry room and part of the garage but they're gonna be thanking us once they see the finished results on what we're gonna have. I don't know why it's like that. Anyway, first things first, we're gonna want to start with our block of choice. Now, we're gonna want to start out. This is the block where your thing is gonna be sticking out of the wall. So, we're gonna put our dropper here, facing inwards. So, we're gonna have it going into the wall, because our wall is gonna be right here. And then we're gonna want to sneak and place a hopper or hopper yeah hopper there and then we're gonna want to we don't need a sneak for this one we're gonna want to put another hopper right here for the final one we're gonna want to put a dropper here actually or any containment unit and then you're gonna want to sneak and place another ho hopper here once you got that done you're gonna want to take your block of choice put one block here one block here one block here and a block here and this is going to be our ma most important piece of the system. Now we're going to want to take our dropper, or comparator, place one right here. Then we're going to want to place two redstone dust right here and put a repeater going into this. Now you're going to want to put a redstone torch here. And that's basically it for the first part. Oh, and I also forgot you're going to have to go out a little bit more from your... Um, Thing. I want to remove that, please. Thank you. It's gonna go out just a little bit more. Now, I okay, it took me a while, but you're gonna have to put a slab right here, right on top of this. No, and it has to be uh, facing upward so you can place redstone on top of it. Then you're gonna want to place a block right here. Then you're gonna want to put a repeater right here, then a block right here, then another piece of redstone right here. Then you're gonna Okay, this is going a lot harder than it needs to be, redstone contraption. So, you're gonna wanna put a block right here, you're gonna wanna put a uh, slab right here, then you wanna put redstone here, redstone here, then you wanna um, put a block right here, place a slab underneath it, break the block, then you're gonna wanna put a redstone here, and then you're gonna wanna sneak, and I want you down here, then you're gonna have to sneak and put it on this slab right here and then we're pretty much done with the um extreme stuff if you want you can slap your item frame here by sneaking and placing it and then you're gonna have to repeat have to put a button on the dropper otherwise the machine won't work now you're gonna want to put your input items in but first we're gonna um 
here's what you want to do. The second hopper, repeat, second hopper, it has to be this one. The one with the re re comparator sticking out. You have to put um, your output input item in here. Just put one in each of these slots, and then put the rest right here. You should hear a click coming from this dropper. Then, you're completely done. Now, just put this in. You can get your wall blocks. Just cover it up, cover it all up. Um, the storage system's right here, so it has to be this, because if you put a chest there and cover it up, then it won't work. Now, here is our thing. Now, if we grab ourselves a cake, and we put it inside our dropper, <clears throat> then push the button, we get an iron ingot. Well, that's gonna end the video. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and leave it up with a like, comments, and it'll really help. And it'll really give me more courage if you um, also subscribed. Now, this is actually, this is the entire redstone. I know it's kind of cheating, because it's a two block wide, and there's our cake we put in. But that that's pretty much the entire thing. I'm really happy with my results. I'm, you can drown in the Help! You have to subscribe, otherwise I'm gonna drown. <laughs>